Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome into a special video today. I'm going to be looking at all 24 days of my custom Lego Batman advent calendar. I'm sorry that this video wasn't out sooner, close to Christmas, but uh, I've just been busy and I've just kind of just uh, taken a break, I guess, just quiet, quieting down, you know. I just put out so many videos and it kind of uh, didn't burn me out, but I just, you know, just kind of need a break before 2020 starts and school and everything. So anyways, everyone, without further ado, let's move over to the box in case you haven't seen it. Um, there is actually a playlist of all the days and all the old videos. I'm going to unlist them all except the last day and day number one. So you can check out this video if you want, or you could check out the playlist if you wanted to hear me talk about them every single day. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead though. Let's move over to day number one. And uh, it is Robin in an elf costume. And this was the first minifigure in the series. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. It made a lot of people confused because I think that they all wanted and thought that all of the minifigures in the series would be Christmas based. But they weren't. So anyways, moving on to the next day. It is an inmate storage rack. And it was just like all of their loot and gear. And I'm sad that I never did a second one. I think it was a lot of fun to make with all these little references to different Batman villains. The third day had a micro Batwing. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And then day number four was a bat signal. And then the next day was a Batman Christmas tree. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. I did, of course, base it off of the Harry Potter Christmas tree design from the advent calendar. I just loved that design so much. I just loved making it and using the flat one by one pieces with the Batman symbol from the Lego Batman movie, as well as a gold bat on the top, I just think worked really well. And then the sixth day was actually Edward Nigma or the Riddler in his Arkham jumpsuit. And I actually based this, I looked it up and the jumpsuits are actually white in the comics and not orange. So I thought that that was really interesting. So I wanted to take the design that they actually made for the Joker and Harley Quinn from the four plus Batman and Joker escape set from the summertime. And then I was like, oh, I'll just make it white. And then, um, yeah, I think that it looks really cool. And I've always wanted just an Edward Nigma minifigure. So it was cool to take the face of the Riddler from the summer sets and then actually just remove the mask and give him a different facial expression and everything. And yeah, I'm happy with how it turned out. Next, we have a micro Batmobile. And I think that this looks really, really cool. I think that this could be my favorite micro build that I built out of anything, out of both of the Spider-Man and the Batman advent calendars. I'm really, really happy with how that one turned out. Next, we have the Arkham table. And this is probably way too big, like I mentioned in the original video. It's just way, way too big and has too many pieces and everything. But anyways, it was just a lot of fun to make and design this table with the Arkham A using all these different tiles and slates and everything. And I'm really happy with how it did turn out. Then the next day, of course, because we just had a table, I had to include some food, so it was pretty funny. I had a bunch of different little references to different uh, different villains and different things. So you have Ro Lobster Thermidor, of course, was donated to Bat from Batman so that they could have a good Christmas meal. Uh, the giant turkey, you know, it's Christmas, they gotta have it. And the T-bone steak is meant to be for Killer Croc, but I really like the little teacup parts there in silver, um, especially because I was looking up what inmates and different things uh, the actual cups that they drink in prisons and things so it was cool to see that there but it doesn't really make sense because I doubt they would be serving drinks and such like that in an asylum because I feel like those could be used as weapons but anyways the next day we have a couple of presents and they're meant to just represent a bunch of different heroes and, and villains and different things of course there you've got a Batman one a Robin one and a Joker one and I was wrong in the original video but we've actually gotten a Batarang in yellow. I forgot about Batgirl from the Lego Batman movie having them. So you could actually build that. So that's that's pretty cool. Next, we have a Snowman Batman. And I don't know if you want to consider this a minifigure or not, but you can because the torso is actually exclusive here, technically speaking, since I did do some printing there with some lump of coal, as well as just getting the Rebirth Batman logo there and making it have this little snow effect, as well as giving him the short Batman cowl in white and the cape in white as well. Next we have the micro bat sub and this is meant to be like the micro version from the Ocean Master set 
from January of 2019, and I just really loved that set. It was just such a great set, especially with the minifigures, so I loved actually being able to make that. It actually started out, I think that I was trying to make the micro Riddler copter, and then I was like, well, this is looking more like a bat sub, so now we're gonna do that. <laughs> and then next, we kind of started this story because I think at this point I had already done the story for the Spider-Man one, and people really liked that, so I was like, I'll try and come up with something for the Batman one, and that's where this idea sort of came from. So I kind of took the idea, of course, from the Christmas with the Joker, and then I took the, the the exact same like minifigure and everything, or the design of the Joker, made it into a minifigure. And I'm just really happy with how this turned out. I just I've always wanted to make that make that minifigure, and now it's finally able to, but like make it kind of uh, updated and uh, I guess related to the current Joker's design from Lego. Um, he does come with a microphone because it kind of ties into the next few days. So then next we actually have a, a film camera. And again, I know that a lot of people complain that I included too many printed pieces or new printed pieces in the series. So, you know, I, I try my best not to. Um, but here is an exclusive one by two there uh, with the GCN, the Gotham City News uh, logo there. And I don't know, I just think it was fun. And if I just did a camera build, it would be be boring and I want to keep this exciting for people so yeah I don't know that's what that is and of course next we have a clay face present this is probably my least favorite thing out of all of the days um, I'm not sure how I feel about it the eyes are from the Lego Batman movie Clayface. I don't know the mouth or something something's off with the mouth but it's okay I, I still think it, it's a fun idea it's a fun idea I wanted to include Clayface somewhere in the series and then next we have a Joker TV and I actually took the print of the piece from the Arkham 4 Plus set, like I mentioned earlier, and just covered it up in a brown TV. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So the, and then of course the next uh, minifigure is Vicky Vale, and she actually has two versions. One with, uh, of course, her being gagged by uh, Clayface there. And then of course you've also got her handcuffed with the Spider-Man web pieces just recolored in medium nougat there. So it's meant to be like clay uh, actually holding her there. So I think that was pretty cool. And I don't know, I'm shocked that we've never gotten a Vicky Vale minifigure before in like this comic book outfit. And uh, I don't know, it's crazy that only this was the first time this year with the 1989 Batmobile that we got a Vicky Vale minifigure. But yeah, I'm really happy. So the whole story was like that he was just taking over the, the, the news station or whatever and abducted Vicky Vale with Clayface's help. And then he took over the news broadcast there. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that side story. But moving on to the next one, we have a Penguin sub. And we haven't gotten a set of the Penguin sub in a long time. So this was meant to be like a micro version of the 2008 one specifically, or I guess 2006, whatever one. They're pretty similar, but next we have a Joker card. I'm actually really happy with how this came out. I, I kind of want to go out and make this myself. That could maybe be a series um, in 2020 is trying to build some of these builds. I think that will be a lot of fun because I really like this Joker card. I think that it would be really interesting. I know we've got, never gotten the heart piece, however, in black, but I don't know. It would just be a lot of fun to get, and I guess I could permanent marker it, but... Anyways, it's meant to just be like a Joker card. You've got uh, the spades on one end and a heart on the other end. I, I don't know. I just thought it was fun. It was a fun build. And then next we have a Micro Riddler Copter. So I did actually wind up making it. And this is just meant to be a smaller version of the one that came in the summer with the Shazam and the GCPD car and the Batwing and everything. And then we also got someone in the comments because I was constantly asking for help on these series and hearing and getting your feedback. So it was actually suggested by Knuckles the Echidna. Uh, I think it was on a Spider-Man video saying that I should make a mini kit. And if you don't know what a mini kit is, I would recommend playing any Lego game. Come on now. Like, you can't be watching these videos if you've never played a Lego game before. Anyways, the Batman mini kit here was a lot of fun to actually make myself. Like, it was just, it was a weird feeling to design my own mini kit. I'm really happy with how this turned out. The wings and everything, I, I think, was a cool little addition to this mini kit. And of course, it's using the same one by one flat round tiles that the Christmas tree used from the Lego Batman movie. And then next, I got a lot of comments that people would be upset if I didn't include this character. So here is the Mad Hatter, and this is actually my own version. I was really happy because um, I got to make my own minifigure, which isn't something that really happens too often, I would say, because a lot of times I'm basing it off of a comic or a movie or a TV show or a video game or something like that. So it was fun to make one of my favorite Batman villains and just like 
have free range at it. So that was that was pretty fun and pretty special to me. And the outfit has just it was just based off of a bunch of different things that I just thought of. Like of course that's I guess this is what I think of when I think of the Mad Hatter. So it was just fun to be able to do that myself and make my own version. And then of course you've also got uh, for the last second last day you have a bat sleigh and this is just it's really cool so he he can of course deliver presents and uh, he's got a silver bat at the top and I don't know it's just a it's a, just a small little build but I'm really happy with how it came out and of course the last day that was used in all of my thumbnails was the Santa Batman and that could be a new piece that could not be a new piece. Who's to say you're not supposed to have new pieces in advent calendars, but we'll just we'll just say that it's just sitting on top. But uh, anyways, everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this advent calendar series. It was um, it was a lot of fun, I would say, especially looking back. Like I, I'm really happy looking at this, and and I'm proud of what I did. I'm I'm proud that I was able to upload 24 days. Uh, that was that was crazy. Of course, like I've still been uploading nonstop since like May or April or something like that. But you know, it's 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 special because I was uploading two videos a day, never missed it. And then on top of that, all I was doing 2020 reviews and other videos. So it was really, really crazy to keep up with, but I'm really happy with the final product. Will I do another one again? I don't know. Um, this one was of course set in Arkham Asylum. So it's definitely plausible to do another one because I was going to either set it in Arkham Asylum or the Batcave. So setting it in the Batcave would give me a lot of other opportunities to do other builds and other characters and different things like that. So that's definitely something that I'm considering. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, December is so far away. <laughs> I, I, don't, I can't even uh, think that far ahead. Um, but it is something that I do want to do again at some point. Hopefully, maybe I'll get ahead of it a little bit better instead of doing the build or whatever the night before uh, because it was super, super tiring each day. Um, but I did really like it, and I don't know if I'll do two, but we'll have to wait and see. But anyways, everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this, and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.